Welcome, welcome. This is Zentor, Economy Dev Lead and Local Coding Meddler. Today we're going to go over in a bit more detail the concept of custom modules for faction types and how they fit into this idea of a player-driven economy. Uh, and most specifically we're going to talk about the mostly completed ore refinery module, which is the first piece in this larger wheel, I guess you could say. So historically the bulk of the trade aspect of the disco economy has been encouraging players to independently take solo treks that have little to no bearing on the larger game world and they often encourage folks to just AFK power trade unfortunately which doesn't give any impact to the larger game world and it um, doesn't really necessitate any interaction with other players. Um, mining tries to compensate for this by making it most efficient if you work in a team but that's that's only one part of it I would say what one piece of the larger puzzle uh, and convoys right now are, are largely dead and unneeded uh, especially with the lower player count so the other aspect would be player bases player bases kind of create one-off special equipment um, production options that some people have managed to make considerable networks around in order to gather people together to haul in the needed ingredients. Uh, but once they're fulfilled, you sell this special toy to somebody and then that's that. So alternatively, what we could look at is giving a niche to different faction types that are in line with their in-game lore and roles and their overall goals. Um, and so that each of these different faction types can produce something or that run through a process that creates something that's needed by other groups. So it's a more realistic kind of setting. Uh, and I think that the first piece of that could be starting with ore refineries. Um, so in this case, ore refineries would take the harvested ores and convert them into metals that can be used by other processes, namely foundries. So the ore refineries would be operated mostly by mining factions because that's what they're geared at. Foundries would be run by construction companies such as uh, Samura or BMM or uh, Denom in uh, Rhineland. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, these alloys created by the foundries where they take in raw metals and perhaps other ingredients can then be sold to factories yeah these could be run by Kashiro or other groups like them that make specialist equipment or advanced goods that are going to be needed all over the economy you can also have research labs that could utilize psi data or other gathering gathered ingredients uh, to produce something maybe it's RP related maybe it's something that doesn't even exist yet that can be thought of uh, but that's another option for the science type groups. Besides this, we could look at distribution centers. Distribution centers would be like warehouse type modules that are run by shipping factions, pure shipping factions like Gateway or Boex or USI or uh, Rhineland Shipping or whatnot, IDF. And these guys could convert goods from the game into more profitable volumes uh, that, can be, that can be resold elsewhere for higher profits. You could look at the illegal side of things. Maybe have black market or drug den um, base modules that either produce or, or repackage drugs or illicit goods that can be resold elsewhere. We could have munition factories. These would be run or at least subsidized by house militaries for the production of ammos, uh, guns, special weaponry, and things of that nature. Um, and then besides all of these production type things we could we will also be taking a look at or probably integrating support type modules um, which we'll take a look at later but for today what we're going to look at in detail is the ore refinery and how it currently is written in the code and how it will be operated by players and what the options are to them so let's go take a look at that now all right, so today's test and overview of the ore refineries module is going to take place on the hideout. 
base here on my test server. So we'll go ahead and log into it. Alright, so we go ahead and take a look at what this base's stats look like. This is an IMG base affiliation. It's a core 4 base. And it currently has one ore refinery. So ore refineries can be looked at. Their information and everything can be looked at by using the slash base space ref mod, refinery module, just like the slash base space fac mod can use to look at the factory module. So if we'll go ahead and take a look, we will see all of the currently available recipes in the refinery modules. So one standard ore refinery can produce any of these recipes, which is most of the current ores that are in discovery with a few exceptions, ones that don't really have an already easily translatable in-game commodity, like Azerite gas, for instance, or some of the other ones. And, and some of those can really be used for other types of processes, like Azerite gas, you know, it might be used for one of those research lab uh, modules that we talked about earlier or something similar. So if we take a look, we've got a whole bunch of basic ores here, and you can select any of those to start production. Um, if you wanted to make an ore refinery, you would use the slash base space build mod, which is the standard command for looking at all of the available modules that you can build. So you see refinery is down here as type number 12. And you can use the instructions there at the top slash space space build mod space construct and then select the index you want to put it on. And the index is, of course, the index here on the info screen, the modules listings. So this ore refinery is at index five. So in the case of when I built this one, it was slash base space build mod construct index five, and it was type 12, if I remember correctly. But getting back to actually producing ore, let's go ahead and start that process. Slash base space ref mod the top here we need to use the add index type which is seen right there in order to start it and we're going to make a uh, niobium which is number five number nope I'm sorry number eight slash base space ref mod space add index five number eight you'll see OK, item has been added to the build queue. We take a look at the info screen. There it is, pending one item. When it cycles through to the next tick, it'll tell you what ingredients are needed. All right, and there it is. So building, refined niobium, waiting for 5,000 niobium ore. So currently in this test version, it takes 5,000 niobium ore to produce 4,000 refined niobium. So let's go ahead and give ourselves the needed ingredients. Okay, so the first thing that we need to consider when we're thinking about this production process is who owns this base. So the way we've written it is factions that are designed to run ore refineries, which is mostly mining factions, will be able to do this much more efficiently and quickly. So this base is an independence miners guild faction. Um, so that is a dedicated mining faction. So it will run this process quite quickly. Um, in the current setup, it will absorb 600 ingredients every tick, every 20 seconds. And in order to complete this process, you'd be looking at roughly three minutes to suck up 5,000 niobium ore. However, factions that are not really designed to run ore refineries will not have that affiliation bonus that a mining faction does. In fact, the base value currently is that it sucks up 50 units per 20 seconds per tick. So that way we can discourage groups who really have no business running an ore refinery from putting one of these on their base. So for instance, um, Liberty Police or um, 
Kusari naval forces or something like that. So those factions will be running these very inefficiently. Freelancers would probably do it a little bit better because you know they're fairly neutral and you could understandably see some freelancers refining ores. But corporations and well-established mining factions will have the largest bonuses. So if we go ahead and give ourselves that uh, quantity of goods and feed it to the base, we'll see that it will start absorbing that ore fairly rapidly. Oops. There you go, it's already sucked up the first 600, it'll be any second now that it'll suck up the next. There it is. So you can see that that niobium ore value goes down pretty quickly, it's every 20 seconds or so. Alright, so we're on the final stretch of that ore consumption. And there you go. All right, there we go. It's consumed all of the niobium ore. So we should find that we have niobium. There it is, 4,000 niobium now in the shop. So affiliation bonuses will be directly tied in the case of ore refineries to mining factions and other groups you know will be considered maybe zoners or freelancers or maybe srps will be available for other groups entirely all right so that's a quick look at the ore refinery and how it works you can have multiple ore refineries of course on your base and they can process any of the listed goods now all factions won't have the same bonus because the affiliation bonus is directly tied to that individual recipe. So for instance, refining niobium would grant maybe a bonus to um, GMS, BMM, and Independence Miners Guild, just how the mining bonus is in the game. But say molybdenum ore would be bonus to GMS and not IMG because of their respective locations in the game. So all of that will be available in the configuration file to the admins to kind of play with and you know turn those levers. And additionally, I'm planning in the very near future to put a continuous feature. So whenever you go to type in the command to start up a new recipe, I'm hoping to add in at the end like a true value or just continuous, that's probably too long, continuous, probably just true. Um, and what that will do is tell the refinery to constantly check the shop to see if there's ore that needs to be processed into the ingredient or into the uh, final produced item and just keep running the process until there's none left. And so that way we can have it so that bases can have miners actively coming in and they don't have to put in the command every single time to generate the process. And I think that's going to be pretty easy and I should have that done in a couple days. But that's going to wrap up, I think everything that we need to talk about for ore refineries to get started this is a pretty easy one to add in and we can start looking at adding in some of those subsequent cycles like the foundries distribution centers research labs munitions factories all that stuff in the very near future but this one's pretty much ready to go so i will be seeing you guys in the next one and thanks for watching